So if you've uh, seen the first video of the overview of this uh, Mustang for Limited series, welcome back to the next one. I'm just going to be cleaning up the car, prepping it, getting the cage painted, and just kind of doing little stuff like that. So I'm just going to start with kind of cleaning all underneath the car in the engine bay, stuff like that. So I've always used Scotch-Brite and WD-40 to kind of clean metal areas and then Windex for kind of the painted areas like inside the engine bay. So I'm just going to start cleaning it up and then uh, we'll go from there. Not having a lift problem. So just need to clean the bottom of this out, uh, try to get everything out and all the dirt and shit and get it all looking pretty because I don't work on dirty cars. So I pretty much got all the um, underside pretty much cleaned up now. Um, as I uh, clean up underneath like the chassis of cars or like the engine bay and stuff like that, um, usually kind of what you want to do, especially if you're going to use a car in like a compensation or something like that is you want to feel for cracks everywhere as you're cleaning and kind of look for cracks and any metal or anything like that and just kind of just kind of checking for things like um, i found some wiring that was getting dangerously close to the uh, serpentine belt and looked like it could have got, got caught on it kind of um, messed up and stuff and then also like another wire that looked like it was going to be exposed to the header so you know just a little stuff like that's a good thing to do um, just as you kind of clean the car, just kind of check out things just a little. And while you're going through your car suspension, you want to make sure everything's tight, knit, and make sure you don't have a mechanical failure to take out a competition to something stupid. So um, so I recommend if you're going to get a Mustang, try to find this book. Um, very, very useful book as the torque specs. It, I mean, it goes through like everything in these cars, all your torque specs and everything. So I uh, just uh, got done kind of cleaning up the inside. Uh, there is some kind of like greasy goopy bits where like the, um, where I painted over uh, some of the sound deadening that I wasn't able to get out. I was able to get the top layer of the sound deadening out, but not like the bottom layer. So that's kind of what that is. So I'll try to scrape that out so I could paint over that. Um, so yeah, kind of just cleaning up the rest of it here. It's kind of a little uh, dirty looking after that. Just gonna start masking everything and then scuffing uh, the uh, cage to start painting it. So um, this is everything I'm using. Uh, foil for uh, masking stuff, a big roll of paper, uh, masking tape, respirator because I'll be inside the car. Um, I'm using Rust-Oleum Professional da, 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 for the actual paint and then self-priming spray for the primer. So yeah. It's time to start mac masking and stuff before I uh, scuff up the cage to uh, get the first primer coat on. So, little tip I like: um, uh, aluminum foil works really, really well. Um, so, this is uh, the reservoir for my handbrake. I didn't want to take it out because I didn't want to um, have to rebleed the brake line. So I'm just gonna wrap it up, uh, kind of like that. And then, uh, it should be okay once I start painting it. You know how to instantly make your girlfriend hate you. Or whoever you live with. Wonder how I'm gonna get to the back windows.
So now it's down to get to scuffing. Got some scuffing pads. So the idea is just to get a surface that the uh, primer will kind of adhere to and then so the paint will adhere even better. So we just gotta scuff all the piping and we'll get a priming.